Okay, so we are off to Demeta's Crossing. Wow, this Seems is like beautiful still. Around here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Magisters destroyed Arlathan City centuries ago. Whole lot of blood magic during the war. What about now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war. Or never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air. Ruins float. It's like an old wound that never healed. And now it's bleeding again. Okay, what I... of you? What of you indeed? The capital city, Arlathan. Wait, what? This is what's left of it after the war. I don't imagine it floated back in the day. Oh, I imagine it absolutely did. Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh, I guess I fell. Wow. Wait, what the fuck? What the hell? Tree people? What's up here? A lament for fallen Elvenon. I hear tall watchtowers once stood where these waters emptied into the sky, their torches lit to guide the weary traveler. Sometimes on still days, when the mist hangs low on the river, I can imagine the lighted path up to the golden spires of Arlathan, and the voices of my people calling me home. I know Elvenon, our lost civilization, is not how I imagine it. Arlathan was a place of wonder and magic, and also of conflict and war, ruled by tyrants. Yet still I mourn it, and wish I could have seen it just once and called it mine. Added below in different handwriting, these feelings are not yours alone. There is no sin in grieving what was lost, imperfect though it was. Strife. Oh my god, thank you! Thank you for this codex, whoever wrote it. I really relate to this as a Mi'kmaq person. Like... And that's especially strong coming from Strife, considering he's not even originally Dalish. Like, he was born in the city, according to uh, Three Trees to Midnight in Tivinter Nights. He came to the Dalish later in life. Hell yes! Brooke, ready to go? Nev, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Couldn't sit still much longer. Then let's go. I've never seen fog this thick in Demeta's Crossing. Now it really looks like home. <laughs> A foggy fishing village? Yeah. This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Stay sharp. Oh. It's so quiet. Too quiet. Oh my god. Where is everybody? 
It's so quiet, too quiet. Are you guys just like asking to be attacked by ghosts or something? It's market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just abandoned. They barricaded the main entrance into town. To keep something out? No, to keep something in. Whoa, holy shit. It's blight, even worse than in the forest. Oh God. Now what? You okay? What happened here? Keep them inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello? I don't think he can hear us. Oh my God. Everyone has to stay. Someone used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. Oh my god. The town square. We need to search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. Survivors? I don't think there are any. <laughs> This is Adeline. I knew her. She was a farmer. Sold spices to us. The best in Arlathan. I can't believe this happened. I'm sorry, Bellara. Okay, I can't get over that. Is that an Aravel on the roof? Light must have lifted it up there. Holy shit. This blight is weird. Never seen anything like it. Never. Blight's usually dead, static, but this is alive. Okay, let's keep going. Might be more survivors. Roar in the distance? That? Oh Something no. Big. Stay sharp. Over there. Two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the veil jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Why were they looking for veil jumpers? What did the mayor want with them? Oh my god. Look, more people. Must round up everyone. Must get them inside. We will be rewarded. Oh my god, why am I going in here? Oh, this is a terrible idea. Melva! That's one of your fellow Veil Jumpers? Valara! Jahel, he's alive. Belara. We're, we're going to help you. We'll get you down, Jahel. Uh, I don't know if we can help no, this guy. Listen, the gods, the gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. In the villagers, they said they needed power. Valara, 
Be careful. Oh no. Oh no. That sounds close. Help me! Hurry! Mayor Julius. Oh shit! Why, why are you doing this, Rook? <laughs> I am not ready to fight a dragon. I'm level four. Fresh. <gasps> a hungry heart. Creature, come to me. you you're the mayor of this town the village the people are they uh... blighted dead all of them you gave them to the gods didn't you didn't you they were in my head infecting my thoughts they made me do it please help me you betrayed your own town no, I, I didn't. I was tricked. Manipulated. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told me to lure the Veil Jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gilanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. Gold? Are you fucking kidding me? All this for gold. The villagers, the veil jumpers, the blights everywhere. Demeter's crossing is dead because of your greed. Uh, I, I didn't know. You don't understand what it was like to hear those voices. The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? Yeah, really. I say we leave him right here. But I'll die. The blight! Everywhere! What if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook? <laughs> Fuck that! Leave him here. He can fend for himself. No! Wolves will get him in the night. Or, given the state of this place, something worse. The people of Demeter's crossing were depending on him. The least he can do is stay with them now. A steep price to pay. And we're the ones to choose it? Somebody has to. You don't understand the power they have! They show you what you crave! They speak to the darkness in your heart! No one can stand against that. Watch me. I won't be the last to surrender. I felt the evil. Let's go. No point arguing with a dead man. No. Like, I know this is a morally not the greatest choice, but I feel like I'm role playing, okay? The My rook would feel that way. And the gods were free. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects. Even their fellow gods, all gone. 
But they still had the power of the Blight. And corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight. All of it. To rebuild their empire. Oh, fuck. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone would pay for it. Did you find our scouts? Oh, They're yeah. Dead. I'm sorry. Algernon and Gillanain sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Algernon and Gillanain used them like puppets. Oh, fuck I off. I say it was a show of force. They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gillanane shall require many hands. So who are you exactly? I have borne many appellations. Advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds, friend to the Inquisition. My place here, however, is but a humble advisor on matters arcane. Yes, Witch of course. Of the An honorific, born of rumor and exaggeration. The fearsome reputations of your opponents, however, are duly earned. This dark turn of events shall only become worse. Yeah, we can't we can't have a Dragon Age game without a human expert on elven magic, apparently, anymore. <sighs> Whatever comes, we're ready for a fight. Words easily said, but rarely proven. Yeah? What do you know about all this that we don't? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. This is our fault. When we interrupted Solus's ritual, the gods escaped. Would those feelings not be better used to put things right? But how? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his, uh, well, he calls it the Lighthouse? Ah, yes. The legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. Viravas, Path of Freedom. Right now. It only goes to Arlithin. Our way of freedom. I can take a look at it. Maybe fix it, even. I know Illuvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Illuvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods. And they're killing people and blinding the world. How do we stand up against that? None of us can do this alone, but we can stop them together. Alara, you're one of the only people in the world who can get our Illuvian working. 
Harding can track down the Lyrian dagger, and Nev can spot any clues we might miss that give us more information. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. Okay. Oh, what does this mean? Bond increased? can do this, Lace. It's gotta be done. What are we doing? Speak with Harding at the ritual site. Okay. Wait, I'm level 5. Let's level up first. level up. No, it's just me. Okay. I still don't know how to quick save. <laughs> I-I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. Maybe you should have taken the shot, but we can't change it now. Yeah. I just have to live with it. Right? Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison. Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. Yeah, that and about Varric. sums it up. Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. We're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting. You push for answers and action, while I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Yay! Varric brought us together because of our strengths. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths. And rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solus's dagger. It'll be a start. Oh, okay. We're... We're on the move now. Look. I can feel lingering magic. Powerful magic. The dagger was here. Something took it. Oh god. Oh no, what if it took the dagger? Only one way to find out. Look, there it goes. Follow the ghoul. Well, why can't we climb up there? Ah uh, no. Dark spawn coming right at us. 
And it has a fucking giant axe. Oh, she, I thought she jumped off the ledge completely. She just jumped over to the other side. Good work. Let's keep on the trail. That's a little neat mechanic. don't usually collect things, do they? Yeah. Solus's dagger is special. They might have been drawn to it. Darkspawn pick up shit. We know that from Origins. Anyone spot that ghoul? It must have come this way. Oh, I see some dark spawn. More dark spawn ahead. More dark spawn coming out of those pools. E. Okay. Company, get ready. Him. Rook takes credit there. Rook doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Okay, this combat just won me over by a little bit. Let's finish this. Did you find the dagger? I don't think these darkspawn took it. Let's keep looking. How do I what am I supposed to do here? Oh, it must be connected to whatever this is. Yuck. Yep, yeah, suitably gross. Over there, a dagger thief. Ugh, more blight in the way. Whoa! 
oh shit <laughs> putting that back how the fuck are we supposed to get across Break through the blight. How? Uh, it goes down. I'm confused. Everybody cross the bridge or not. You're gonna die if you don't cross the bridge, idiots. Okay, your choice. Oh, they moved. Okay, now what? What do you want me to do, game? Is there another... Uh... Oh! Okay. And there's probably another one. God damn it. Where is the other one then? Oh, I get it now. Okay. There we go. Nicely done. I mean, it's gross, but you can't argue with results. Fire. Another one of those magical beams. There are two of these devices this time. I bet we'll need to direct beams at both of them. I guess I can continue, but I kind of want to explore whatever those beams are doing. That's one. Now to find the other. It's up there. Get up there. Ah.
Good work. Now let's see what's behind that gate. Okay, <laughs> nothing really all that exciting, <laughs> but that's fine. We've got company. Old quarry. Okay. That has to be the ghoul we're tracking. Better hope it still has the dagger. Delirium ghoul. That wasn't so bad at all. Look at that, we got the dagger. Lyrium. Harding? I... I... What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god! Holy shit! I don't know. I don't know how to control it. Yeah, I have no idea what this is talking about, so I'm gonna ignore it. Nev, you are very encouraging. Oh my god, Delirium Ghoul is back. Got us at range. Watch it. Good job. That that 
dagger. What did it do to me? Not sure, but we should get back. We'll talk it through there. Oh my god. Your pet has failed, sister. And now the magic of the Dreadwolf's dagger is hidden from me. Fen Harel meddles once again. If his dagger is beyond our reach, we must craft another. Made of red lyrium. I like how tiny Elganon looks in compared to Kelenen. <laughs> You said something took you over. Mm, something like that? And it's still with you? Y yes I think so. It can't be possession, can it? I doubt it. Dwarves can't be possessed. Yes, they Without fucking can! To the fade, Solus's dagger triggered this event. But how? Or why? I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had answers. It's all right. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. What is it? What does she dwarves. mean dwarves can't be possessed? Dwarves can magic. absolutely be possessed. That has been established in the lore. Anybody living can be possessed. Anybody dead can be possessed for that matter. It's not the magic I know. What do you mean? It's clearly stone-focused, which makes sense. Dwarves are children of the stone. Mages connect to the Fade. Dwarves reach out to the stone? Maybe? Maybe. <sighs> I guess we don't have any real answers. I honestly don't know what to think. Tell me about it. Maybe I just need time. It's all strange, but somehow I feel connected. To? To the... To the stone. Dwarves call ourselves children of the stone. Some of us have what we call stone sense. Those that have it can feel caves, Lyrium veins and faults in the rock. I wasn't one of them. Maybe the dagger unlocks something hidden. But but this is more than the stone sense I know. I know it's strange, but is this going to create problems for us? Absolutely not. I trust you have all this handled. You always have things handled. I just hope I can use this magic to do what's right. I have faith. I'll send word to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. And we need more answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach Solus in the Fade. Good luck. Try not to let him get to you. It feels like we're finally making some progress. And I'm not sure what my new magic's about, but... I know it feels right. I'm really enthusiastic about Harding's plot, whatever is going to happen. With eyes on the Dreadwolf and the gods he'd set loose, they couldn't see their own personal demons coming to haunt them. Oh no. Harding told herself it felt right. She was connected to the stone, to the lost titans, and all of dwarven history. With Why is this secrets. red? How could that be anything but good? Oh no. Oh, okay.
Okay. Guess I should find some place to try to talk to Solus. All right. 